So you want to spray cabinet doors faster, uh, less time moving cabinet doors around, uh, not have to worry about marks um, from the racks when they're drying on one side, flipping them too quickly to do the other side. Um, I've recently switched to a hanging system for spraying my cabinet doors, and that eliminates all that um, moving around of doors one side, waiting to dry, then do the other side, and also um, being worried about flipping them too quickly because of marks being left, which can happen with some coatings that have a little more open time. Uh, typically with the Renner 688 top coats that I spray, they take a little more time to cure than some, and so you can't flip them really quickly on the racks or you'll leave marks. By going to a hanging system, I can really do all my top coats in one day's time, two top coats uh, on both sides. So I don't have to do one side, wait for them to dry and then flip them. I can do both sides at the same time by hanging them and then in a couple hours hit them again because I don't have to worry about marking them up on a rack. Uh, technically, if you're using vinyl sealer for your primer, you could do all your primers and all your top coats in one day's time on all your cabinet doors um, easily with the hanging system. So let me show you in my shop how I set this up. I wanted to go super cheap. Um, I bought only the clips to go into the Euro hinges from FastCap. I bought uh, from Paint Life Supply, I bought two types of hangers and then for the the racking system, I simply use one inch tubes, metal tubular, uh, metal tubes from Lowe's because they, uh, I found that works really, really well because um, the tube uh, will grab that hanger nice and snug so it doesn't allow a lot of swinging. And so you can stack your doors in there really pretty close, about two, two and a half inches on those racks. So let me show you how I did that. And if you're considering Go into a hanging system. Um, I've you know looked at a lot of systems that cost a lot of money, and what I've done is went super super cheap to start with because I wasn't even sure if this is going to really work for me, and uh, I've been actually quite surprised at the way this works. Uh, vertical hang actually hasn't been an issue, and bridging and that kind of stuff. So using the right equipment, using the right paints, applying the right wet mills when you're spraying of course is all key to this as well but if you really want to you know be able to up your efficiency with time on cabinet doors i really think the hanging system is the way to go so as i'm perfecting this i will probably upgrade to some other you know racking hanging systems but for what i'm doing right now i went cheap just to try this but it actually works amazingly well uh, let's go to the shop and I'll show you what I've got. All right, so um, I want to show you my new way of spraying cabinet doors. I have for years sprayed my cabinet doors flat on a spinner like you've seen me do in my other videos. Um, a little bit ago, I decided to try hanging and I wanted to see if it could be beneficial for me. So I haven't actually shown where I've been spraying with this yet, though I've done uh, a few different jobs now with this system. Uh, my goal was to kind of try to make sure this works before I show it on YouTube. So um, I was talking to someone today and they were asking me about this system. So I thought maybe the easiest thing would be just to do a quick video about what I'm starting with and what I'm learning so far. And uh, then in the future, as I maybe kind of perfect it, maybe I'll, I'll do some more videos with some actual spraying. So what I had started by doing is buying these hangers. These are from Fast Cap. Fast Cap makes these little hangers and I had bought a pack of these a while back just to see if I would like them. And when I saw them, I just kind of laughed and I threw them in the cupboard and I left them there for months because I was like, there's no way these things are gonna work. Well, turns out they actually do work quite well. They're spring loaded, but they have really sharp points right here. So when you put them in your hinge holes right here, um, they kind of grab and this door actually is not gonna, you know, it's not gonna fly off of there as easily as you think. Um, you do have to be careful though, because when you pull this, if you're, you know, really moving around with these a lot, you have to be careful because any kind of bump could kind of 
uh, make that come loose. They're actually pretty amazing how they hold that door. So what that does, that clip goes into the Euro hole. And if you have a door that doesn't have a Euro hole, then what you do is uh, you have to drill holes in the bottom side and put these hooks in there. And then you use a slightly different, well, you can use these as well. But what I end up doing, these, these little hooks, this size and this size, they both come from uh, Paint Life Supplies. So I was trying to go as cheap as possible. I made my own hanging system and I bought these cheap clips. These clips are roughly a dollar, dollar fifty each. I bought a hundred of them and I bought 50 of these wide um, hangers and I bought 50 small ones. So I have a hundred hangers total, but you do need some of each. And I'm glad I bought 50 of each. I wouldn't start with less than that just because depending on the size project you're doing, and if you have multiple projects going, you're gonna be glad you have 50 of each. So this spinner right here right now is kind of makeshift. I, I think I will buy the round spinner from Paint Life. This works, however, when I first started, I just had, this is just a, uh, this is just a hook with threads. I don't even know what they call this. I just bought it at Lowe's. Like I said, I was trying to be cheap. So I probably paid 15 bucks or 10 bucks for this. Now, uh, this works actually well. It spins nicely. Of course, you can see that, you know, there's an end to the thread. So if you go the wrong direction too far, you're going to drop it. So you kind of got to learn which direction you're going. If I go this way, I know I'm actually going to be threading up. Uh, the other thing I had to do is put a, I had to stabilize this a little bit because when this was just hanging, there was too much movement. When you're spraying a door like this, it's gonna to tend to wanna to kind of blow the door a little bit from the pressure of the paint. So this has got to be somewhat stable. So yeah, really cheap system right now that I've got and I wanna upgrade it as I go, but I didn't wanna spend a lot of money until I knew what I wanted. I just took some simple pipe. I think that's a three quarter inch pipe. I don't know what they call a three quarter inch pipe. And then I added this hook. Like I said, I'm gonna probably get that round spinner. Okay, so here's the, Here's, here's how I do this. I've got a hundred, a hundred of these clips and uh, I'll just keep them in the box. And when I, you know, get my, my cabinet doors, what I do is on the bigger doors like this, what you do is you, you get one of your, your um, hangers and kind of see where um, to put these because they have these waves. I think they're called wave hangers or something like that. And the wave is, is to keep that door from sliding around. So you have to kind of center this on the door and then figure out where your hook is going to come. Try to get it toward the bottom of the wave. And because not every door is the same size, you have to angle these things a little bit. So I'm going to angle these in here like this. So I'll just go like this. Make sure those are pressed down in there. And then I can hook this like that. I should probably angle it down a little more. All right, so then I can I can put it on my rack in there, and I just keep my extra hangers right there. For the drawer fronts, what you do here, I'll just start with a, a, a sample drawer. Okay, so this one, I can't use the clips here, so I gotta use hooks. I just, at Lowe's again, I bought little hooks like this. I think they were seven, eight hooks. And I bought a tiny drill bit. What you want to do is kind of the same thing, um, center, center your hook, I just kind of get it rough. And then take your drill and try to go as close to the ends here as you can so that there's not a lot of sliding movement. I'll just drill in there a little bit like that, and in there like that. And you want to make sure you're drilling on the bottom side. You do this for drawer fronts, uh, any door that doesn't have a hinge like a trash can, trash pull out door, you're going to drill on the bottom side. Uh, the other thing that you can't do, these things don't work very well on like pantry doors if they only have three hinges because uh, you can't use the center hole very well and one of the other, it's not big enough. So I hang those upside down as well. You have to hang them high enough. So what I kind of end up doing, I might hang them from up here so that they're not hitting the floor. All right, so next step then would be to put these in. And here's a tip that I learned from someone else. 
on YouTube. I just start these a little bit by hand. And if you have a whole kitchen's worth of doors to do like this, you are going to make your fingers kind of sore. So have a second drill on hand and just open the chuck just a little bit, just enough that it can grab this thing. And then you can actually put in your, this drill doesn't work real well for this. Or you can put your uh, hooks in like this. This drill doesn't work as great as the Milwaukee that I had. The Milwaukee, somehow it just works better with the bigger chuck, I guess. And now, um, now this can hang. And so you see I'm close to the ends and I'm centered and that's not going to go anywhere. I hit the, the edges first all the way around and then I hit it this way, that, flip it. I actually hit the edge kind of the second time, kind of particularly this bottom edge, get underneath that couple times across here and then I just grab it in here put it in here to dry so I want to show you yet uh, in the drying part okay, I want to show you now my drying system okay again I'm being super cheap I bought one inch tubing um, metal tubing at Lowe's I put one kind of high and one down a little lower I can hang my drawer fronts up there and the uh, doors down here and I have an extra one just going across here for spares. Now this is only about enough room for me to do one kitchen and uh, so I hang my taller doors from this one. I, uh, they do need a little bit of reinforcement in the center. I just stuck a piece of wood in there and what I like about this, this is one inch tubing. It fits almost perfectly on this hanger so that this doesn't have much movement. So you can figure putting your doors approximately two, two and a half inches apart. These could actually go a little closer together. But if you just use a round pipe, there's a lot more movement. And so you have a lot more risk of, you know, doors hitting each other. But a tube like this that kind of fits snug on that hook uh, doesn't move much. So really cheap way to just kind of make your own racking system. No use spending hundreds of dollars from, you know, company making that for you at least i didn't think so so anyway that's my cheap system for now these things were roughly like i said dollar dollar fifty these were a couple bucks a piece the tubing didn't cost me a whole lot i really didn't put much money in this into this now uh, i want to talk to you yet just a little bit about why um i like this better than the laying flat system um laying flat Definitely has its uh, advantages as well because you you can spray and kind of let everything flow out. However, uh, you don't have to spray that heavy. Like I'm finding, I can spray the verticals on here, and if I do, um, you know, if I use a good coating that has good vertical hang, and I don't over apply it, this actually works really well. And you can do both sides at the same time, almost in the same amount of time as you do one side of a door and rack it. Notice you don't have all this extra walking around between spraying and drying, uh, putting it on the drying rack. So that's the one advantage, time, time, you're gonna save a lot of time. Not only in not as much moving around of stuff, but here's the other thing, like this is not touching any rack anywhere. So when you top coat a door before you flip it, you have to make sure that the back side of that door is like really dry or it's gonna leave marks, right? But with a hanging system, there's no marks to worry about. So you can hang this and uh, you can spray both sides, hang it, and in a couple hours, give it its second coat and hang it again and your, you know, your top coating is done. That is if you're doing two top coats, which I typically do. So here's my system. I'll put, uh, I'll clean the doors. I'll put my primer on this. I like to do two coats of primer. I'll let, I'll do both coats in one day on both sides. And then, um, I'll let it dry overnight to seal in all the stains and, and cure. And then the next day I can do all my top coats in one day's time. So two days, in two days, easily you can do all the spraying. I mean, technically if you're, if you're using a, like a vinyl sealer or something like that for your base coat, you could probably do all your coats in one day's time, no problem. If you're using waterborne, you have to kind of give it that overnight time to seal in all the stains. All right. So, for me, this is kind of a game changer. It gives me uh, less time in here spraying, more time 
that I can uh, put toward you know, my on-site work and get these done much faster than with the with the uh, flat system to go. So if you have any more comments for me, ideas how to make this better, tips that you've found, uh, please put them in the comments. Let all of our um, reader or listeners uh, know uh, what's what you like or don't like about the hanging system. Maybe you have better products, um, better way of doing it. Hey, that's what this is all about, learning from each other. So